Come on. Department of Hawaiian Homeless. Good morning. <laughs> On the clock. No, 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 no. I like to see this whole thing. Run them down by six. Uh -huh. Okay, so we just go around them trees. So, <clears throat> on behalf of the Ainamana Legacy Waitlisters, um, the Beneficiary Trust Council slash Kokia e Pilot Program, which has been um, formed over five years ago with consultation through all six Mokus on Mokokiave, and we also expanded outside of our Mokus into different districts outside of um, Big Island. So today, the concerns to draw a little bit more clarity to all of this fiasco that's happening. My concern is first off, <clears throat> the illegality of the board and the things that you guys put our waitlisters through so we had these meetings. You know, you guys can't look this way because you guys always looking at that paper. You guys gotta look this way. So yeah, 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 look this way. Never mind taking notes. So you guys, we gave you guys a document for P1. Yeah, Mr. Ayla. He had a P1 documentation that was for the 2,000 acres underneath the Kokia e pilot program that never got response. That's you, handsome. So he didn't really respond to that. And when he didn't respond to it, it triggered a mass influx of non-natives getting leases. So we shoot right over to Mr. Levi, Paniolo Raposo, and I think that's your friend because you're still looking weird. So this guy gets the lease of Mauna Kea, right? Right, this guy gets the lease of Mauna Kea. This guy, Mr. Raposo. We catch this guy, Mr. Raposo, inside P1. First two months into the Aina Mauna Legacy data collection efforts that we did. So we catch Mr. Raposo in this um, facility. We call Mr. Kamara, Mr. Land Agent, he cannot seem to execute the, the, the proper filings to get this criminal. A non-native stealing our ungulates on our property. That's why we were there. And so when we brought these things up, naturally nobody gets busted. So three months later or so, then he wins the contract. Jackpot. Boom. Non-native hits the jackpot after get caught stealing our ungulates. We bring it to the right proper channel, nobody gets to it. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right. And then we have Mr. Pacheco, right? Mr. Pacheco, all access, Mr. Pacheco, BLNR. He gets the access to the parcel. He burns down a historical site, everybody. He burns down the sheep station with his non-natives, yeah? Mr. Pacheco running wild on the Mauna, like a wild peepee -pee up there. So these kind of guys, right? Access true, Bill, I'm a liar, right? So these guys get these access, and these is the things that we talk about, because when they call the cops on us, and they threaten our families and my keikis, and they come and serve us, and they come and harass us, then this is the kind of aloha we got to do. We have to be on the mountain to watch these kind of efforts because Milton Holt seems to be the key connection to this. That's the smirk I was looking for, Ayla. Milton Holt. So, so Milton Holt. Ayla can't answer the rest of the questions, but so Milton Holt is the lawyer for Levi, yeah? And this is the how they get into the department, right? the hows, we always ask ourselves how they get there. So by doing this data collection over five years, it brought these things to light, yeah? Of all these corporate entities, especially land management, right? Who has family members getting leases on both Hawaiian homes, parcels, Kahiki Nui and Mauna Kea. That's double jackpot, yeah? So when we look at these kind of issues, yeah? And these people are surrounding us daily, right? And, and we see Governor Ige, no threatening and no, no teasing on the media. No, 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 no. Kupunas are getting arrested. People are stealing from the trust. There's internal corruption. And Mrs. K. Aloha signed off on the ESI, right? Ooh. You know what I mean? So, 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 so it's almost like a domino effect, yeah? And uh, Mr. Isla is the one that somehow did a premature passage of these things that causes these issues upon our community, yeah? These issues are a reflection upon the corruption. Because if you guys have followed DHHL and their crimes, you guys can see the Lions case that is being developed with the federal government of Micronesia. And the reason why we say this is because Mr. Lyons, with unnamed associates that could be in the room, I don't know, that went past these things. And so, before we can start pro uh, prosecuting and laying this out for our families and how we're getting each other in, in trouble, we need to look at the internal mechanisms, the board being one of it. We came to you guys, and even Ms. Shimoburuku, we came to Ms. Shimoburuku warning you about this career criminal. 
and they neglected it. And so, you know, we were proactive on all of these forefronts, but we just seen the corruption too deep, too deep the pockets, too deep. You have um, a lot of foreign interests. What was it, over 30,000 acres going to non-natives? I think it's fair to say we need an audit on all government officials who work for DLNR and DHHL, non-natives, who are residing on Hawaiian homesteads or on the parcels that belongs to native Hawaiians. Because that's, that's just a gut instinct that I know, yeah? I know every homestead get non-natives living in there, yeah? And I know a lot of them are authorized through the government to be in there. So down the harbor, as DLNR, right? As DLNR take care and maintain, over 20 years, there's an illegal gas station down there that was meant for, you guys can read about that too. It was meant for just the use for those people on there. But nobody pays taxes. Nobody pays the fair market value. So Isla brings this whole era of just arrogance, of just arrogance on how people can just run over Hawaiians and think that people are not going to speak up. You guys can wear kihei's, you guys can walk into the meetings, but that doesn't, you're not gonna blind nobody with that. Just cause you guys walking in there with kihei's and telling you guys little stories. I'm a survivor of my mother and my grandpa, the beneficiaries that have been waiting. And that is the whole issue why I'm here. Cause when I look at all of these options, when we sign out the applications, the applications don't get responded to because people inside the land management have family interests above the beneficiary interests. Yeah. When they can know the injustice has happened, but they can come up to the mound of still Haleoku Hill, and they can tell you that you are illegal. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so this is the kind of mentality. And what, what I urged um, Nina Fisher, Nina Fisher up here, yeah, Nina hiding right there where she is, yep, yep, yep. yep. So, so, so this lady up here, right? Um, I asked her for the video footage of the raid that took on Mauna Kea for Haleoku Hill. Why did I ask for the footage? Because our camera was working. There was people talking about pay rates and how ignorant Hawaiians are. Right, you guys thought the camera wasn't working. I know, I know. So everybody looked shocked. So, so these, are, these are things that they thought that they were arrogant enough to not know that we would catch them. They thought that they could move in the middle of the night and not think that the Mauna was going to call. And that's how you guys got busted. And so these are the things that the community has been working on for so long. And these are the things with, with, with Milton Holt, the land management, and all the inside workings and maneuvers. We got to call them out on this because this is a federal obligation that they have failed. And it's arrogance to think. Grandma said only fix them when broken. It's not broken. She's illegal. Beyond broken. So. When I come forward with all these data, like I said, we have support amongst all the waitlisters and beneficiaries of this moku. So I cannot speak outside of this moku, but the things that I can present to you guys is, you guys is in deep trouble. You guys didn't dump the gasoline on the fire, not thinking that Kahuku, not thinking that Sherwood was gonna wake up, not thinking that our other homesteads wasn't gonna wake up. And that's the issue at hand right now, the injustice, the fell fiduciary duties that you guys can continue to conduct on a regular basis and smirk and do illegal activities. And thank you for the new chair, yeah, the new chair. Yeah, so two islands in the back room is illegal, right? You know, can do back deals with two islands, right, in one room. That's illegal, see that? No, it's not. That's why you stay here, you stay watching all the illegal moves. I got four witnesses, one lawyer, three beneficiaries. You only get two islands. Two islands don't make a right. You know what I mean? So I was gonna make a right. You guys think you guys can put us in one back room? You guys think you guys can put us in a back room? And then charm, wine and dine and lie. Exactly. Even Mr. Who? Ige. We had, a, we had a meeting with Mr. Ige about all these issues. He made us sit outside for an hour and then sent us into the back room with Billy Uku. Who's Billy Uku? Billy Uku? Yeah, Billy Uku. That's the guy. He put me to the side room. Shake me up, ask me my name. I told him read the federal law. He kicked me out the room. Uh, so I, I don't know what's the whole agenda about the, co the, the corruption connection between you and these, these affairs that you're having. <clears throat> Sugar King lands. Sugar King lands, Isla. Loose lips sink ships, right? Sugar King lands. When all Sugar King lands be before the 
Hawaiian Homes Commission Act was passed, shall not assume the status. As soon as it's done, finish the sentence. Isla, it returns. So, all those sugar cane lands, Mahipono, right? Mahipono, the Honomu, coming from Alexander and Baldwin, get Kulianas within that. There's still families in that. So, Hawaiian Homestead is just another occupying power of the Commission of Safety presently in the 2019. 100 years is coming up. There's no running this back. There's no running this back. And for you guys who continue to dabble in this, it's not going to be an easy venture because every meeting you guys show up, we're going to show up at every meeting and we're going to go over your guys' astronomically beautiful portfolios. <laughs> Because you guys make our lahui rise. You guys make us and bring the best out of us. And I got to congratulate you for that. Because everybody's responding. And that's how things are supposed to work out. So, commissioners. I don't know what you guys are going to do with, 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 with how business has been conducted. And I frankly don't care. Because two, eh, 100 years is done. And so, everything outside of this is a breach of trust and wrongful death suits that will occur. And best believe, all the water mismanagement for Honomu, how you guys are trying to claim those other rivers and all of those issues, how you guys are supposed to use only things for that special Honomu area that you guys are not even gonna award, you guys are just dragging people on a leash. That's what you're doing, you're just dragging people down on a leash and you guys are just leading them down. So Milton Holt, I would like to see them more at these meetings, because I see them at Kapole, him and Levi, when they did their little proposal, trying to get the acceleration for the PP. They're still taking PP off the mountain now. Make sure they drop some off for the beneficiaries. Yeah? Because we still get Kupuna that's on the, on the line. So all of these things that you guys are doing and not getting consultation for and giving to non-natives. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, 40 seconds. And I just got to ask you guys to dismantle you guys' illegal gigs and just return the land to the Kanakas and just go home. Okay. And we need the lease for the stuff though, right, Isla? We still need the lease. You got to say yes or no, right? We still need our houses back, our Haleoku Hill. You stole it twice. Miss Nina Fisher put a fictitious paper up to get our community to be offended and got scared. So you guys need to start acting accordingly and stop breaking all these federal laws. <clears throat> Thank you, Isla. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Next speaker is Russell Rudderman. And before Russell gets up, I would just say that if anybody has any facts that they would like to bring to the commission with regards to any of the accusations that have been made, we're open for it, OK? But just to make accusations, not good enough. No, no. No, this is not one debate. This is not one debate. I just made the. Okay. I got recess again. Go recess again. I got recess again. No, you got to address the committee. No. Okay. I'm going to adjourn this meeting pretty soon, okay? Get plenty of business for do, which we came over here to do. Okay, so if there's more, if there is more comments like that from the crowd, if it's disruptive, I will adjourn the meeting, okay?